that's as far as I could go. Wow! How does it feel? It feels awful. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is breathe. this is great. No, this is for content. I love it. Can you can you stay? Wait, wait, wait! Don't come out just yet. Wait, hold on. I'm not done hold yet. On. I'm, not... I'm scared. My dick's gonna pop oh, out. Oh no! So don't scared. worry. No one will be able to see it. Just throw 500 bitties. Mr. Navigator! Hello. Wow! We haven't even begun this interview, and you already have a hundred people in chat. Oh, fuck, I gotta mute the stream. I could hear myself. We already have hundreds of people in your chat spamming furry raid, and you've leaked my DMs before we've even begun. Are you is a furry king? No! I'm not a furry king. But why is why is chat saying that you are? Because this is what they do. My chat community never lives. lies. Come on. Do you, no, this my chat literally exists to embarrass me. Every oh. chance they get. Do you understand that I, I had to stop raiding people? Because every single person I would raid, they would spam furry raid, furry raid, furry raid. They literally my own community griefs my growth. I cannot grow my stream because I get embarrassed every single person I raid. And I haven't even raided you, and look how bad it is. And they don't get the social cues, like the basic social cues, like, I should probably stop this. The joke probably isn't funny after two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. It's probably not funny anymore, but they're still doing it. I mean, They've completely taken over your chat I mean, doing this stuff. It's kind of funny. It's not funny. So why do they call you the furry king? There has to be a reason. Are you okay? It's my Okay, my girlfriend's gonna get mad because I always blame her, but I still think it's her fault. Because she told a story on stream. I think she just screamed. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Tell me more. I was watching Netflix and I was watching B Stars. I've never watched the show. I decided I'm gonna check okay. it out. Uh-huh. And she was in the other room. And there was this scene where there's this rabbit girl that gets down on her knees and gets ready to suck this wolf guy's cock. And she walks in at that very moment okay, and but... looks at me and says, what the fuck are you watching? And I'm like, dude, this has never happened before in this show. Like, like I don't know. Like, And she like caught me in the middle of this act. And she's like, you are a furry. First you told me you thought Lola Bunny was hot, and now this. Now you're watching a bunny suck a wolf's cog. I'm like, there's no sucking. Like, it's just part of the show. Like, uh, and, Wait, and... hold on. Let me get straight. Thinks Bunny yeah. is hot. Sees a show what? with a cock sucking... What was it? Bunny. The bunny was about to suck the wolf's cock. Okay, so sees Bunny suck sucking on wolf's cock. Yeah. It's Thinks... Beastars. Right. You never heard of it? No, bee stars. Okay, well, have you ever heard the saying like if it smells like a poop, if it tastes like a poop, if it, you know, it probably is a poop. Um, is poop the is that what it Are you sure it's with poop? I I've heard that saying, but I don't think it's with poop. I think you just made that up. But you know what I'm saying. So if it quacks like a duck, if it talks like a duck, That's it's the, the, the probably duck. like a duck. So yeah. if if it likes a bunny sucking a wolf's cock, and the chat says furry king, and your girlfriend confirms it... I, I was supposed to explain to you why I found Lola Bunny hot, okay? okay yeah, I'm going to explain that to you right now. Tell me. Okay? Yeah. Think about this. At my age, when we're young, yeah, we didn't have internet and as much porn as you guys have now. Like, right now, there's probably three to 300 to a thousand people fapping to you as we speak like finding fappable content is so easy online nowadays but back then there was nothing like literally anything you saw like I, I think chance said it best like he would find like designs on his door that looked like boobs and he would jerk off to them right what so yeah so back then like anything that you found that was like even mildly attractive i didn't have cable tv i didn't have any internet i didn't have any magazines all I had was just whatever I could find. And then you watch Space Jam, which is on your fucking TV, and then Lola Bunny comes in, and she's wearing, like, a fucking short shorts and, like, like 
all this like revealing clothing and she's okay. being all sexual. Like that's literally the sexiest thing you see as a kid is fucking Lola Bunny. There's nothing that lives up to that. Like, like, so it's, I don't think it's being furry. I think it's just the fact that like Lola Bunny was like the first like modern, like they knew what they were doing, right? Like they knew what they were doing with Lola Bunny. They wanted to make Lola Bunny sexy. So. Because they were yeah. furries. No, I'm not a furry. I don't find any other animal hybrid person. Well, okay. Like cat girls are hot, right? Or like bunny girls, but that's different because they're humans. They just have like cat ears or like bunny ears, right? Like that's different. That doesn't count, right? Wait, someone's spamming shit in my chat. Is that? Dude, just fucking turn off chat. They're so Is that bad. You? Wait, hi. Um, wait. Hi. I did a commercial for MSI, and and they they make everyone watch this super cringe commercial, like. I woke up, I used to be in an organization, it's a small org called Fanatic, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but um, I woke up and uh, we were going to our training center and what ended up happening was, uh, are you looking it up? No, You're not going to no, find it. No. They took down the video because so many people have, have looked it up. They, they literally it made it private. Why? They made the video private because of my chat. Because of my chat, they made it private. Oh, but, come on. A red mirror would exist. It exists somewhere, but I'm not going to tell you where to get it. They might, but I won't. I actually don't know where it is. If I'm gonna be... Oh, they made a website. It's called 18inchbeast.com. Yeah, you can actually find it through there. Wait, is it a um, porn site? It's not a porn site, but maybe don't open it on stream just in case you typo and go to a different 18 inch beast. <laughs> 18, <laughs> like, don't show it. 18 inch beast? Oh, you showed my DMs. 18 inch. Well, wow, why is my, my accent going through? 18 inch. Why can't I say inch? 18 inch beast? 18 inch beast. Because the laptop was an 18. Listen, I had no script. I had nothing. They just, like, they were like, who wants to do an MSI commercial? And all the players were like, I don't want to do it. Like, this is this is stupid. This is cringe. And they're like, okay, you do it. I'm like, me? And I'm like, yeah. Or they're like, yeah. So they're like, no script or anything. They're like, okay, here's what we want you to say. And then everything else you just make up as you go along. I was like, all right. I was like, here are the specs of this 18-inch beast. And everyone fucking... They've, like, edited it to make me say, like, Oh, yeah, I love this 18-inch beast. It's real smooth, and it feels real good. You you came to our bar, right? I because... did. You called me a porn star or something like that. Can you can you remind me of our first interaction together? Because my chat keeps telling me that I thought you were a porn star. Because, okay, here's, here's the background. Will told me he was bringing this porn star friend okay. into VR chat. So the he first person, you weren't even the first person I did that to. There was some other girl before you, and me and Murder Crumpet were drunk as fuck. And um, this Will's like, all right, here's my friend. And the first thing we say to this poor girl is, can you teach Murder Crumpet how to work a cock? Because Crumpet has no idea how to work a cock. And this poor girl was not the porn star. It was just this random, like, really sweet, nice girl. And she was like, oh, um... I don't really know how to do that. And we're both like, well, you're a fucking porn star. Like, what do you mean? You suck cock all the time. It was the most awkward thing because I I looked at the bot afterwards and I'm like, holy fuck, dude. I owe this girl a fucking apology, dude. This shit is bad. So, yeah, you weren't the first person that I... It's Will's fault because he keeps saying he's going to bring his porn star friend, but he brings his his non-porn star friends and i guess you were will's other friend but can well, you tell me about my first interaction with you i mean that that was the first interaction with me wait you were that person was that you i mean that's what you told me oh so you were the person that we asked crumpet to, we asked you to teach crumpet how to work a cock Something that was you along those lines and then later uh you told me you kept telling me that I am a porn star that you were trying to convince me and then you got it got to a point where I couldn't escape you and murder crumpet calling me a porn star over and over and over again that I had to tell you that I actually what's wrong with being a porn star but then you know but but look listen 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 later that day I got really drunk too 
I got super hammered later that day. And if you had actually approached me later uh, that day when I was super drunk, I would have just been like, so, um. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, just use your imagination. Now, now Jake just raided you, who's a regular in VR chat. And now you're exposing Jake's community to the furry jokes. Now the Jake viewers are also going to do the furry jokes because you've just done that. I want you to know that. Are you smiling? No, it gives me okay. pain. It gives me pain to know that I've caused this. I want you to be sad. I'm very upset. Right, okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Are you I in a shark so suit? Rad. You're a furry. Wait, no, you're like officially. I don't know ah, what that would make you. Yes, my name is Fishko. Hello, nice to meet you. How are you doing, Mr. Rob? I heard you like furries. Why are you doing this? Do you like fish? Oh, hi, Mr. Rob. How are you? Anyway, about awkward your future. Awkward silence number three. Huh? I'm keeping the the awkward silence counter, and that was number three. I gave you an awkward silence. Why are you a clown? Why not? Can you honk your nose? No. Oh. Well, can you do anything with that? Like, do you have like a? Can you juggle? I mean, you should. I you should learn to juggle. Gun. You're balding. I got a gun. Is that good? Oh, Is that good? I mean, do yeah, you no. want here? Do you want me to shoot that guy? Yeah, shoot him. Really? You want me to? You already missed, but try again. But but I want you to one. I want you to one tap him. Like I want it to be one shot, headshot, no scope. Like don't even look at him. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. I can do this. I can. Okay. All right, there you go. You're about as good as the average Overwatch player. Do you play? Do you play games? Like, are I you do. a gamer? I do actually. I am actually a huge gamer. I'm actually the best gamer you've ever seen. I'm actually uh, the best first person shooter gamer you've ever seen. I right. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I people call say I have shroud aim. You have shroud aim? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they say like we're like twinsies when it comes to gaming capabilities. So why do you think you haven't um taken advantage of this like uh, FPS skills and and join like a team or something or like played competitively because you know I don't want the other players to feel so intimidated that you know I pretty much imbalance entire esports mm, mm, you know mm. you know what I mean mm. like I'm a humble person too you know I don't want to I just humble yeah are you actually like a gamer or are you like a fake gamer <laughs> What? Like, what games do you play? I play a lot of games. You keep saying, like, you're like the person who's, like, trying to bullshit through an interview, right? No. Like, you don't have to impress me. You can just tell me the truth and say I'm you don't play games. I'm telling you the truth. I have... I'm good at a lot of games. I play a lot of games. Um... Okay, you keep saying a lot of games. Name a game, please. Just any game. Just name any game. Animal Crossing. Oh my god, dude. What? I bet you're a time skipper, aren't you? Among Us. <laughs> okay, well, let me tell you something, Tetris. okay? You you are what we in the industry call a casual gamer. You no. play party games. I am yes. not a casual gamer. I'm a rock-hard no. gamer, okay? I play, I play a ton of games. Right. You play Among Us. <laughs> like if you had a if you had a positive and a negative, what would you say is your biggest positive and your biggest negative? Like how does it even out? My biggest <clears throat> positive is that I'm perfect. You're perfect. Mm hmm And my biggest negative would be that I can't grow past my perfection. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What is so? You said that these aren't really interviews. It's just a hangout. So you're are you you're not a robot. You're a um, an AI. I'm a technically. game character. A what? I'm a game character. Okay, you're a game character. So as a game character, you have a primary function. What is your primary function? 
Uh, at the moment, I don't have one because I'm an NPC. So your primary function is to be an NPC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you ever like glitch out? Like, uh, you also don't have Hello. like that. Uh, what? Hi, Mr. Hey. Gator. What's up? You're transparent. I'm. I'm really glad we have some transparency in this interview. Yeah. Yeah. Cue the laugh track. Oh, sorry. Um. Yeah, I can glitch out. What is a pro and con about you? <clears throat> Good question. Hmm. A pro and con about me. Oh my God, our ADHD is so bad. No, you actually made a good choice by switching. Oh, um, the void! Wait, guys, we were talking about the void, right? Stop! Oh. Pick one subject, please! The, the, the void pros and cons. Okay. The pros and cons of the void. Okay. The pros of the void are that, uh, I guess, nothing really exists there. So you don't, you can't feel sadness or emotion or anything. You just don't feel anything in the void, right? It just doesn't exist. The cons of the void are that nothing exists, so you can't really have any happiness either. So I guess the pro and the con is the same when it comes to the void. What is the void? Why are you doing this? I you really... Okay. Okay. Do, do you really want to know the truth? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is the, th we shouldn't dwell on this for too long because okay, it's going to okay. lead to an argument between me and chat and it always okay. does. Okay, okay. Okay. So, I am convinced and I understand that this is not normal and that 99% of people think that I'm absolutely fucking stupid for saying this. Okay. I am convinced that I remember what it felt like to be in the womb before I was born. <laughs> Wait, really? Yes, I'm pretty convinced I remember the feeling of it. And... I have a theory as to why, okay? <laughs> okay. My theory is that when I was born, I was thinking about it constantly. And I thought about it so constantly and obsessed about the fact of that feeling that I remembered it all the way. That's my theory. What did it feel like? You can't explain it. It's unexplainable. It's just, <clears throat> it's nothingness, right? You don't feel pain. You don't feel happiness. You don't feel anything. You just, like, like you don't think about anything. Like, like the, the idea of thinking of something doesn't exist. It's just nothingness. And you can hear, though. At some point, you start hearing, okay? There's one day where you just start hearing. And it sounds like, okay. This is what it sounds like. It sounds kind of water. It's like if you're underwater and you can hear things coming from outside that water, that little muffled like, <laughs> like you can hear that. <laughs> can we move on, please? Okay, okay, we'll move on, we'll move on. Um, I'm just trying to save your freaking chat. Yeah, he also met Elon Musk. That is actually 100% true. I went to Elon Musk's house when I was oh. in Fnatic. Tell me more. Okay. Um, when we were in Fnatic, the owner of Fnatic and Elon Musk uh, met up in a bar and they uh, in uh, in London, and uh, they were talking about Overwatch. And uh, the owner of Fnatic was like, "We could send over the Fnatic Overwatch team to your house to like play with you and your kids." And he was like, "Sure, what? that sounds great." And um, originally they were asking us, "They're like, who wants to do this?" And I was like, dude, I want to do it. I want to do it. And they were like, well, we should probably get some of the players. And I was like, fuck, dude, I'm the coach. They'll never let me go, dude. Fuck. So they uh, invited two of the players. It was Buds and Custa. Those were the two players they invited. And I was, uh, I was uh, on the, like, 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 I was like, I really want to go. So I messaged the manager. And I was like, do you guys think that I could go too? And I'll just pay for like my own ticket or something. And, uh, can you just ban my chat? Like, can, can you just give me mod? I'll ban them myself. Anyway, um, so what ended up happening was, uh, we go to his house, and it's a beautiful house. Like, he lives in, like, this private neighborhood. I'm not gonna say where, because I'll get sued. Um, and you go through this garage, and it's like, uh, th there's, like, this whole security area in his garage, and he's got his dogs in there, and they, uh, 
they take you to this room, and you would expect the inside of his house to be like crazy. Like there would be these crazy statues and all this based off how the outside looks. But it's actually not that crazy looking inside. It just looks like a normal house. And you go into like this gaming room, and the gaming room is like this big couch, this big ass TV, and then there's this separate room that has all their computers. And like what kind of computers do you think like Elon Musk's kids would play on? You would think like some fucking like crazy computers, right? Yeah. No, they were like fucking laptops, like Toshiba laptops. They're like gaming with like 30 FPS. And then Elon came down after a while and started hanging out with us. And uh, it was kind of like, it was kind of awkward in a lot of moments because we would make jokes with him, but then he would take the jokes literally. Really? Like, um, yeah, our, our the owner of our org was like, we could be the first team to play on Mars, haha. And then Elon sat there and told us for fucking like 30 minutes, explained to us how it would work to game on Mars and like the lowest latency. He knew exactly how far Mars was from Earth. He just oh sat God. there for like fucking 30 minutes, like literally explaining what we would have to do to be the first esports team on Mars and how it would take fucking like how we would each have like thousands of ping with the best satellite technology possible and all this stuff and he was like it'd be possible but the best game you could play is like chess or something <clears throat> and uh then i remember he was playing on a tv and i was like oh dude you can't play on a tv you don't have a 144 hertz monitor and he was like hmm that makes sense and he explained to me for an hour how frames per second work like just oh my god i was like I didn't understand half of what he was saying. <clears throat> Literally 99% of what he was saying, I did not understand. But the whole time I just sat there, I'm like, hmm, interesting, yeah. So that's how frames per second works. And uh, the only other thing I remember is that his kids were very competitive. And all of them yeah. wanted to be the top fraggers. So one of the kids, like, uh, died. He started what? slamming the desk really hard and being like, shit, shit, shit. And I was like whoa this kid's really mad and elon was like someone's being a salty sailor and that's oh the only thing he said that's the only thing he said to his kids the whole night someone's being a salty sailor and that was all i remember oh and he had a nice bathroom i took a shit in elon musk's bathroom and that was nice <clears throat> did it feel good to take a giant dump in his golden toilet yeah i remember it was really awkward because i had diarrhea that day uh, oh. and the this was like the game room bathroom which is right next to the he fuck i actually never room? told stream this okay okay yeah tell yeah us. It, it was the game room bathroom which is right next to the the uh the computers and i remember i'm like trying to keep it down really because i you, i mean when you shit you're like farting and stuff so i'm like sitting there like moving my fucking sphincter into different positions to try to like make sure that i'm not Ooh. making any noises out of my ass while oh, everyone's God. in the room next door <clears throat> okay, so Chad is wanting me to ask you about his butts open, splitting open. So, okay. In order to properly demonstrate this, I would okay, need a wait, can. Wait, 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 what? Okay, I'll explain, okay? Okay. So, you know I stream VR chat, right? Yes. And sometimes I hop in full body. Okay. I want you to, I, I'm going to give you a tour of my room a little bit, okay? Okay. Let me make sure there's nothing that reveals my address or anything in here. Okay, there's no like weird shit around. Change? Okay, good. All right, so this is my whole room, right? There's uh -huh. a fucking dog cage there because sometimes my dog sleeps in here and I don't want her to chew up my cables. Right, your dog sleeps in there. Uh huh. Okay. And and Stephanie, there's uh, there's another pillow on the ground there. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of room in here. Yeah. Like right, there's just not. Yeah. So when I hop in full body, I mean I'm a big person. I'm six foot six, right? Like look at this. This is the ceiling, right? Yeah. I don't have to jump. Oh, just touch dang, it. you are a big boy. Yeah, I'm, like, let me, here, I'll stand next to that door, just okay. for, for comparison, okay? Hold on, there's a, there's a door, right? That's yeah. a door. Yeah, that's a door. And I don't know if you've ever seen a door, but that's a door. Here's me next to a door, okay? Oh my god. So as you can see, I'm pretty damn tall. I, yeah. I'm, like, almost taller than the door. Do you live in Europe or something? No, I live in Chicago. Oh. Come for the food, stay because you got shot. Uh, uh yeah <laughs> anyway where was i going with that I oh yeah no idea. So, okay yeah uh, there's not a lot of space in here right yeah and um there's this corner on my desk i want to show you this corner look at this bad boy right here look oh, how sharp that ouch is. yes 
that went into my ass cheek while I was in VR and split it. Like, literally, like, made a giant fucking gash with that. Like, I wish I could show you how sharp this is. Oh, I took God. a can and I just went like that with it, like, very lightly, and it split the can in half. Just to kind of give you an idea of how sharp what? it is. Why don't you just cover it up or something? Question it. Nah, I'm just not gonna do VR until I move. I'm planning on moving in like the next month or two. You could so. just put duct tape over it, it'll become less sharp. I've 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 already ran into this thing so much that it's dulled like naturally from my skin and bones. From your ass so it's, cheek. Okay. It's doing better. Right. Yeah, my ass cheek dulled it a little bit too. Oh, but that was really painful. Ah, you did this on stream? Yes, I did do it on stream, and I uh, it hurt a lot. It really hurt a lot because I what I was doing we ha in VR chat we have this guy named Curry Games, and like we don't we don't let people do like violent stuff in RP because it's really cringe. Like it's yeah. people sitting there like pretending like they're fighting each other, and it's really stupid. Yeah. But when it comes to Curry Games, we allow it because we have all us uh, we have all established that Curry Games is the most powerful being in the VR chat universe, right? Like we have established it. So I wanted to challenge, I was in full body this day. I had like my leg trackers on and everything. And I have established on this day that I was going to fight Curry Games. This was, can you just ban the people, the, like the, the one man spammers? So anyway, um, especially Deadly 1D, he's just okay, being okay. cringe. Okay, hey, All right. Jorm, can you obliterate? Uh, okay. Do you want me to see, do you want to see him get shot too on, inside a video game? Can you do that? Yeah, hey Jorm, bring in that deadly gun guy. Put him in the corner so that um he he can learn his lesson. You could do that. That's sick. There, see, I want to do go. that. See? That's deadly. Yeah, that's okay. deadly. Needs, needs... Show him what the punishment is for one man spamming like a little cringe boy. Don't miss him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think you've made a perfect circle around him. Okay, I just... Fuck. Dorm! Dorm! Just... Dorm! Hold on. I, don't worry, don't worry. I got this, I got this. Dorm! Can you... Dorm! Dorm was your synth guy, right? That you were talking um, about in your last interview? <laughs> there you go. I <laughs> uh, got him. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, so yeah, I challenged Curry Games to a fight. And he hit me. So the rules of RP is if you get hit, you have to sell the hit or else it's a minus one. Yeah. Like we have a we have a point system. No one actually keeps track of the points, but like in this situation, I didn't want to get a minus or a plus minus one, minus one. So I got hit and as I got hit, I flew back and my ass went directly ah! into that corner. Yeah. And that was it. Oh god, at least you committed to the hit. Oh, I committed to it and I paid the price. Ow. Yeah. Hold on. You said that you if you got five hundred thousand dollars. I would get a cock tattoo on my ass, yes. And chance will have let that happen. Well chance so Chance gave my friend Meech $5,000 to have sex with Murder Crumpet in VR chat. So there's really not a whole lot of boundaries with what he wouldn't do. And me and me and Chance and Vigor watched it too. Send this to Soda Poppin, guys. For Don't five for five hundred thousand dollars, Mr. Murder Crumpet will get a cock tattoo on his butt. I'm not mis I'm not Murder Crumpet. I'm Rob. Sorry, Rob. Murder Crumpet is the I other know, one I there. Know, I know. They, you, you guys look the same. Anyway. We don't look the same at all. Murder Crumpet's like a femboy. There's other things that... There's other features that I actually can show. But I kind of... Let me just... Let me see if I can actually show. Um, what was that? This is like... So this is a prototype. So everything here is kind of a prototype. So this is like Miko's traveling scrapbook where there's like different places I can go. Um, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna see if I can go to my apartment. So my entire space needs to be calibrated to my room because there's things that's one to one here. One okay. Holy shit! What's the break? Is it not breaking? 
That was sick. What the fuck? Did it break a little bit? Okay, and then there is a this wardrobe here. The mic is like breaking up for me a little bit. Is it breaking up for you too, chat, or is it just me? Holy shit! My, the environment is kind of one to one with my house, with the places that's around my house. Miko, that was sick. Okay, yeah. so this is where I punish my chat. Um, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I gonna have, punish I, them? I By the way, are you wearing heels, IRL? Yeah. So my, so my, um, my mocap suit has special shoes, and oh. the shoes themselves kind of they have this click clackety sound to it. I'm, tr I'm gonna get different yeah. shoes. But, um, so basically, this is a place where I can, fuck, this is, okay, so I can grab my chat, like fuck. this, right, yes. and I can just toss them, see? So is that guy like, Fortnite dancing? Yeah, he is, yeah, he is. So, um, like, for example, okay, grab this godman gun, and just, hold on, I'm gonna try to kick, I'm gonna try to punch Eat that motherfucker. I'm really oh, bad oh, at punching for some reason. I'm just terrible, oh shit, it just bugged out. But you get the idea. That's cool. Yeah. Dude, I wanna fuck up my chat. Do you yeah, understand I, how big of a power that is? They used to like scream and yell and stuff like that, but like I've been kind of working on this prototype thing and it's kind of broken at the moment, as you can tell. Your chat is so good. My chat, if they saw someone in heels like stepping on them like that, yeah. they would all just be fucking gasming. I oh, mean, yeah. They kind of do that too. Like my yeah. trying to do this does that too. So there's a big gigantic my computer's right here, so I don't wanna kick him. But um this is kind of a like prototype of me kicking around my chat. No, that's sick. I'm gonna go back to Can you crush that guy in front of you? Just fucking destroy him. This guy? This yeah, guy? yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't like that guy. I don't know right anything here. about him. I just don't like my him. My computer's right here, so that's why I'm a, I'm a little uh, I'm okay. a hesitant to like try to kick him. And I don't know why he's actually not responding to my physics. Oh fuck! <laughs> now my chat's gonna give me dance. Thanks. You're yeah. doing that in real life, right? That dance right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of course I am. Wait, you have gotten banned? Me and Soda got banned at the same time. Yes. Oh, because of the. I've heard the story. We were in a sex dungeon hanging out with a succubus dancing on a stripper pole talking about foreskin and having sex with a foreskin and whether you need lubricant or not. I mean, it's a valid question. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. that no, it was... Fair. It was okay. I, um... I punished myself. Immediately after I got banned, I went into a, uh... a VR jail cell. And I spent 24 hours in there because they made my ban... It was originally... They weren't even going to ban me originally, but they banned Chance because enough people reported Chance that they're like, okay, we have to do something, right? So they banned Chance, and they banned Chance for three days, and then they're like, well, we have to ban this guy too. So they banned me for three days too, and then they were like, ah, you know what, that ban was kind of bullshit. Like, you guys didn't really break any rules, you just borderline broke ten rules. So they're like, we'll just, we'll just make it down to a 24 hour, just, you know, be good. And then, like, uh, I, had to, I spent 24 hours in a jail cell in VR chat, and uh, I told people that they weren't allowed to, like, um, like bust me out or anything. I, I spent 24 hours in a virtual reality jail cell, and then I streamed. And, it, it, I mean, it was a little vacation, and the community was very supportive, but I've learned a lot from it, you know? And I'm a changed man because of it. No more sexual content from me. You spent 24 hours as a vacation in a jail cell? Yes. That cage NPR. isn't for your dog, is it? Okay. Oh, Here she is. My Here's my puppy. God. Oh my god, oh your breast is horrible. Oh my god, that's adorable. Ow, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, she's so happy. How old is she? She's, uh, how old is she? Six months? Five months? Five months. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, say hi to chat, Karma. Oh my god, what kind of dog is she? Is she like a lab? I don't know. We adopted her. We don't know. We have to do a uh, DNA test on her. Really? We don't know what she is yet. She's precious. Look at her. She loves Make you. Me. Yeah. Okay, Karma, you're going back. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright, so get how, out of here. So how many hours... Oh. 
I don't have my headphones on. I can't hear okay, you. Hold okay. on. All right. What were you saying? Um, so how many hours do you spend in the cage? You mean the dog, right? No, no, no. Me? Yes. I don't even know if I could fit in there. Should I try to fit in there? Yes. All right, let's see if I could fit in there. Hold on. Oh, yes. All right, I, 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 I'm wearing uh, shorts with no underwear, so if my dick pops out, I'm oh. really sorry that I got you banned. Okay. Just remember, you'll be more popular when you're... It's okay, Rob. Uh, there won't be much to see so anyway. No oh! Oh! I might actually get stuck in here, but it's for content. For the content! Oh, fuck. My dick might actually pop out. It's Holy okay. Shit. There's not much okay. to see. It's here fine. Oh, oh my god! You did it! Oh, wow, you're really committing! Oh, and you're closing it! Oh my god! I can't close it. That's as far as I could go. Wow! How does it feel? It feels awful. Oh, I'm so sorry! This is breathe. this is great! No, this is for content. I love it. Can you, can you say- Wait, 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 don't come out just yet. Wait, hold on, I'm not done hold yet. Hold on, I'm scared my dick's gonna pop oh, out. Oh, no, so don't scared. worry. No one will be able to see it. It's fine. It's too okay. small. Okay, just, Good just, point. Yeah, just- oh, I'm a drawing on a shower. Alright. Okay. How do I get out? I think- I think you're stuck. I actually might be stuck. I think you're stuck. I think you're just gonna have to stay there. I really don't know how to get out. Look, you, you were in jail for 24 hours. This is nothing. I honestly don't know how to get Wait, out. are you really stuck? Yeah, I think I'm stuck. Oh, seriously? What? Wait, call Steph. Yeah. Just call Steph. Call Steph. <laughs> no, 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 just call Steph. Just, just scoot out really slow. Call Steph. Okay, hold on. Ugh. Ow. Okay, you, you can do this. You can do this. Okay. Obligators. Do you have a step bro that you can call? Oh no, you're good. You're good. Okay, you're Might good. Might pop out. Um. Well, if it did, we couldn't see it because, well, I mean, okay, we yeah. I know who Lola Bunny is. Wait. Yeah. This whole time, I thought Lola Bunny was actually a, like a human that was dressing up. No, but you're literally talking about. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. You're literally talking about. You're literally talking about this. Yeah, that's Lola Bunny. You're a furry. I'm not a furry. There was just nothing else that was hot back then. I, it, it was either, okay. It was either I fucking jerk off to fucking Judge Judy or I, I mean, jerk yeah. off to fucking Lola Bunny. Like what, like, what do you want from me? I mean, Judge Judy is the human choice so you would rather okay can we do a poll would you rather jerk off to judge judy or lola bunny one is judge judy and two is lola bunny yes i really want to know point proven yeah but they're a bunch of furries so your chat is furries well your chat's furries remember your chat came in and your chat is furries because you were the furry king Wait, are you commando right now? I'm always commando. No wonder you were worried about your dick. I actually don't now. think I've worn underwear once this whole year, if wait, I'm going to be wait, honest. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, I don't think I've worn underwear once this whole year. I'm very hygienic, though, okay? Here's the thing. I have a bidet. And every time I pee, I like wash myself very thoroughly down there. Does that so, mean sit and you pee? I sit when I pee, yes. Sitting when you pee is actually like master race. Like, I don't know why anyone wouldn't stand up while peeing. You have a higher chance of just peeing all over the place. You're not comfortable. When you're sitting when you pee, like, dude, I pull out my fucking phone. I could play some mobile games. I could like check my Twitter. I could like. Do whatever. I could watch fucking Code Miko on the fucking toilet while I'm pissing, right? How long but if does I'm... it take for you to pee? Okay, but like, when you're pee, right? Whenever I sit when I'm peeing, like, there's always some other stuff that happens. Like, I'll fart a couple times in there. Like, I'll right, like. Of course, yes. Yeah. So 
it's better to just sit, honestly, no matter what you do. Plus, like, okay, I don't know if I'm just deformed or something, but when I when I stand in IP, it, like, you don't have a penis, so you don't you wouldn't know. But there's always those few little droplets that are hard to get out, and you kind of have to reposition yourself to get those last little droplets out. Or else those last droplets get in your underwear, or they get in your pants. But when you sit, those last couple of droplets always get out. Like, it's impossible for them to get into your underwear or your pants. And since I don't wear underwear, like, I can't afford to let those little pee droplets hit my shorts. Because if they do, then that's going to... That's going to fuck up my shorts. They're going to smell like pee, and I don't want my shorts to smell like pee. So, I sit when I pee, I make sure I get every little drop out... I go to the sink, wash myself all down there, and then I put on my shorts. I never knew this. Well, how could you? I mean, <laughs> like, how could you? It's true, very, very true. How could I? Um... And Chad actually agrees with me for once. That's, that's a first. Yeah, I wash my penis in, in the sink. And then Stephanie will yell at me and be like, You're getting your dick juices all over the place. I always have to clean up your dick juices all over the sink. I'm like, don't call it that. That's fucking disgusting. What the dick fuck is juice? dick juice? Will yeah, that's what she calls it. Will you actually wash your dick in the sink? Yeah, every time. It's being hygienic. I'm very, imp I'm very big on smells. Like, I don't want to smell. So anything, yeah, even in public, like I'll do it in public too. Like if I'm in a public bathroom, I'll, I'll like look to the left and the right, make sure no one's around and then I'll fucking clean it. I feel like I know you so much better now. European toilets are kind of weird. Like they uh -huh. don't, when I was in Poland, I don't know if it was just the, the places that I was at, the toilets were so, the holes were so small that I had to like, I had to decide if I wanted to pee or shit. I couldn't do both because if I tried to pee and shit at the same time, my cock would splash into the water. And that was gross. Like, no one wants, like, that's how you get a fucking STD. Your cock goes into the fucking toilet water and probably absorbs, like, whatever the fuck's in there. I didn't want that. So I just, like, I, I had to, like, position myself based on which one I'm. <laughs> okay, I see you drinking that, but yeah. Um,. I had to choose, like, I couldn't do both at the same time. I see. Yeah. I see, I see, I see. We can, we can move on to the next subject if you want. I don't have to talk about my, my piss and shit. Because I have a lot of piss and shit stories. I could go on for hours. I... I mean... I, I'm... I'm fascinated. I, I'm... I'm you want to hear a shit story? The one I tell all my viewers? Why not? Why not? I'll tell you a shit story. Tell I'm me. only going to tell one shit story. I have okay. plenty. Okay. But I'll tell, tell you me. this shit story, okay? Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right. <clears throat> it starts long ago. About long, middle school years, long okay? Long time ago, okay. So I had this friend named Mike, and Mike was kind of a dickhead, all right? No one really liked Mike, but I tried to get along with everyone, so I got along with Mike. Mike had a birthday party, and Mike thought that he was popular, but he wasn't. Oh, All right, no one really liked Mike except for me and a few other people. So Mike invites me to his birthday party, and he invites a lot of people to his birthday party. I bring my friend Alex, and um, he has this other guy named Jason who I fucking hated at this party. All right, so his dad was like, "How many people are coming to this party?" And Mike's like, 20. but there was only four of us. So his dad orders like five. Big ass pizzas, like 18 inch fucking stacked pizzas, right? Yeah. And um, we just, we have five fucking big ass pizzas for four people. So his dad's like trying to make sure that we eat it all. So his dad's like, come on, man, just keep eating, dude. Just keep eating. And he keeps feeding me more and more food, right? And he just keeps feeding more pizza in my mouth and he keeps forcing me to eat it. And I'm like, all right. I ended up eating one of those 18 inch pizzas by myself. Like the whole thing. It was a pepperoni and sausage pizza. I ate the whole thing. And um, after that, they just kicked us out of the house. They're like, all right, you guys go play outside. So we're like hanging out outside on our bikes and my stomach's like, and I'm like, it's probably fine. 
And I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, I, I, I'm going to have to shit soon, but I probably can hold it for a little bit longer. Like, I just want to hang out out here for now. And uh, after a little while, like, I'm like, okay, maybe I should start going to the bathroom. So I'm like, Mike, I have to use your bathroom. And Mike's like, no, man, my grandma's sleeping and I don't want to wake her up because we have to ring the doorbell to get upstairs. And the downstairs bathroom is broken. So if you need to go to the bathroom, just hold it. And I'm like, all right, I'll fucking hold it. So I start holding it and it starts getting worse and worse. And at this point, I'm like, okay, maybe I should go home. But I think about it, I'm like, I have to ride my bike home. I'm going to be bouncing up and down. Oh, God. So like, Mike, I really got to use your bathroom, dude. Like, it's bad. And he's like, nah, man. So I, I held it as long as I could. And eventually, I'm like, okay, I'm going to shit myself if I don't go right now. So I fucking push Mike out of the way. I go to his back door. I start slamming on the door. And um, eventually, his fucking, like, 90-year-old grandma walks up. And opens the door. I was waiting for fucking 10, 15 minutes for this lady to fucking slowly crawl over to the door to open it. The second she opens that door, I immediately start booking it to the bathroom. The second I take off my pants in that bathroom, like, like, literally, first thing I do, shut the door as fast as I can, pull down my pants. The second my pants come down, I just start shitting diarrhea shit everywhere. All over the wall, all over the floor, all over the toilet seat, everywhere. And I'm like, oh, God. This is horrible. So I finish my shit, and I realize this whole fucking bathroom is just fucked. It's just covered in diarrhea shit. So I'm looking for, like, fucking wet wipes or anything to clean this up. Anything I could find. And I look around, and all I find is a little jar full of cotton balls. So I'm like, okay. So I open this jar of cotton balls, and um, I start wiping the fucking shit with the cotton balls. And I realize, instead of me actually cleaning this shit... I'm just smearing it. Ah! So now instead of me cleaning this shit, I'm creating a fucking shit art piece all over this fucking floor and wall, dude. I've literally created like a Picasso painting of shit in this guy's bathroom. Oh, all right? No. And I start panicking and I don't know what to do. So I did the only thing I could think of. I pulled up my pants, I start walking out of the house, and um I, I, I walk past his grandma, I go outside, and he's like, so how'd it go? I'm like, I don't know, man, I couldn't use your bathroom, your grandma was in there. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna blame it on the 90-year-old grandma. Maybe he'll think that the 90-year-old grandma shit all over the floor. And I start walking out, and this is where I fucked up, dude. This is where I got caught. Then Jason goes, did you shit your pants? And I'm like, no, man, I didn't shit my pants. He's like, I mean, look at your pants. And I look at my pants and there's this giant smear of shit on the bottom of my pants. And I'm like, nah man, I just fell in the mud earlier. Oh He's God. like, I don't know dude, you smell like shit and you oh look like you got shit on your pants. I'm like, I gotta go dude. <laughs> I ride my bike home and I have to fucking ride my bike standing up, like not sitting down because there's shit all over my pants and my ass and everywhere. And I have to fucking go home with a shit covered fucking pants and explain to my mom what happened dude it was the oh worst oh my god how old are you this was in middle school so however old people are in middle school 13 i don't know 12 this is the greatest shit story i've ever heard in my life i mean i have more i, I have more shit stories if you ever want to oh. hear another one just let me know i'll share another one with you are there any is there anything worse than that it can't get worse than that come on that was really bad yeah Come on, no way, no way, no way, no way. Okay, I'll, I'll tell one more shit story, but I'm gonna end it on that okay. one. I'm not gonna okay. tell any more shit stories after okay. that. Okay, okay. When I was young, when I was like, I don't know, maybe five, six, I don't remember. My sister was getting married in Poland because my sister's 20 years older than me, right? Yeah. So we, I went to my sister's wedding and um, she had this after party in like this big fucking like barn. Okay, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like a barn. Like, it, it was like just this big open place. There was like a little stage. And there were these rooms on the side. Okay? And um, they made all the kids go upstairs and sleep in these like, in these big beds. So I'm sharing a bed with like fucking five other kids. And um, I got really sick that day. I don't know what happened. I've had diarrhea my whole life. I'm pretty sure I've had diarrhea every day since I was born. Oh. But... This day, like, it was really bad. And um, what ended up happening was, I, in the middle of the night, I wake up and I realize I have to shit really bad. So I open the door, and and our parents told us we're not allowed to go to the main park because everyone is drinking there, everyone's partying there, and they don't want us to get into trouble, right? 
and um, I start looking for a bathroom. Well, this fucking place had outhouses, because that was how things were. You had to go to a fucking outhouse. So I couldn't find a bathroom. So I did the only thing that a rational five-year-old me could come up with. I went into the other room, and I shit all over the corner of the room, and I used the carpet to wipe my ass, okay? So I just left a big shit pile in the, in the corner of this fucking room, used the carpet to wipe my ass, and went back to sleep, okay? And then I was like looking around to see if any of the other kids like noticed that I was gone, and no one noticed that I was gone. So I was like, all right, the perfect getaway. So then the night ends and, the, and like the parents are coming upstairs to pick up the kids to like take them and uh, my mom wakes me up and she's like, how is everything? And I just didn't want to get in trouble. So I fucking talked to my mom and I'm like, oh no, everything was fine. But the kid next to me woke me up. He went into that room and I don't know what he did. And I like, I fucking played it off, dude. I was like, this kid woke me up and went in there. And my mom like checked to see like what was going on in there and she found the shit pile. So she fucking told his mom and his mom just starts beating the shit out of him in front of all of us. And this kid is like, what did I do? And she's like, you know what you did? And he's like, no, I really don't. You know what I did? Don't play stupid with me. And she just starts beating the shit out of this oh kid. Oh my God. Yeah. That's so I... Yeah. I got that kid in trouble. I, I fucking, I did the bait and switch. I took a shit and I blamed him. Oh my god, that kid is so traumatized, Mr. Rob. This is a okay. different story. Okay. It's okay. related though. All right. Okay. So this is the, this is the Damien story. Okay. Okay. So when I, uh, when I grew up, uh, my, I grew up in a very poor family. Like we lived in a fucking deli. Like, my mom bought a deli, and we moved into this deli, and we lived in it, okay? Like, we lived in this shitty little deli, and we lived in a really shit neighborhood. Like, we've got, we, like, my mom got, like, uh, like, arm robbery, like, fucking five times, right? And, uh, I, I, we lived in this, like, really poor neighborhood, and, uh, I, like, let's just say I didn't fit in in the school that I went to. So I had very, very few friends, right? Like, yeah. very, very few friends. So one of my friends was this kid named Damien. And um, we were waiting in line to go to lunch because the way it worked is we had lunch in a gymnasium and you would wait, you would line up outside of this gymnasium to get in. And Damien, who was one of my only friends in this whole school, was ignoring me that day. I don't know why, but he was talking to this other kid. And I was like, what the fuck, Damien? Like, why won't you talk to me? And this was like third grade. Like, I was really young or second grade even. This was second grade. Um, and Damien's ignoring me. So I kick Damien. And he falls down on the ground. And I'm like, ignore that, Damien. And uh, Damien's like, dude, what the hell, man? I'm like, well, you're the fucking fake friend. Like, you're ignoring me, dude. He's like, I don't want to talk to you. Especially after you just kicked me. I'm like, okay. So he turns around and starts talking to the guy again. And I kick him again. I knock him down on the ground. I fucking kick him. And I knock him down on the ground. And um, my school had a very strict no violence policy. Because it was, like, in the hood. So, like... If you got in trouble for violence, you immediately got suspended. There was no fucking, like, ifs, ands, or buts about it. You immediately got suspended. So, a teacher came up and saw that I kicked him down on the ground, and she's like, What are you doing? Why are you kicking him? You're, you're gonna get in trouble. Uh, you're, you're gonna get suspended. And I thought, I, I just said the first thing that came into my mind. Like, I tried to find an escape, and I didn't know what to do. So, the first thing that came into my mind was, He touched my private parts. That's what I said. I said, he touched my private parts. I didn't even know what that meant. I heard that the day before. Like, I heard someone say that the day before, like, private parts. And I said, he touched my private parts. Oh my I completely God. fucking lied. Completely lied. Completely fucking threw this guy under the bus. And she's like, oh, I can't believe it. Both of you, come with me. And Damon's like, no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. So they fucking took us into this office. And, uh... Both of us had Polish parents that, like, didn't speak English. So they have to call this guy named the General. The General was the Polish translator of the school, dude. Like, it was this fucking guy who, like, walked around with a mustache. And he was, like, this fucking broad-shouldered guy who was the Polish translator. He was the General. And the General fucking, like, called my dad and his dad to go to, to, go to class. And my dad was fucking pissed. Absolutely fucking pissed. 
Like, my dad came in, he's like, you touched my son's penis? What are you guys teaching in the school? I can't believe you would touch. And, and, and just a background story, my dad was a professional boxer growing up. So oh my, my dad God. wanted to beat the shit out of everyone oh there. God. And my dad multiple times has gone to jail for beating people up. So I was very scared. Cause this wouldn't, like I was scared my dad was gonna fucking start a fight there and go to jail. Cause he's been to jail like a lot of times. But um, he starts like fucking like, like yelling at everyone. And Damien's like, I didn't do it. Like I didn't do it. And I, I was too far in this line now to go back. I couldn't tell the truth at this point. Like I was already too invested. <laughs> Like, I had to fucking stick with the story. So I stuck with the story the whole time. I never let it down. I couldn't. <gasps> At this point, I had to fucking... I had to double down. I was invested completely. So, um... Like, like we both got in trouble, but it was nothing serious. Like, we just had, like, a very stern talking to. Our parents got told, like... Um, Damien, though... I think I've pretty much ruined this kid's childhood because everyone called him like the penis toucher oh, for a no! while. I I moved out of that neighborhood the next year, right? Like I completely moved out of that neighborhood. And uh, here's the funny part. Someone on my stream said, you should look up Damien and see if you could find him. And I looked him up on Facebook and I actually found him, okay? Like he has a very unique name. Like his last name is very unique. And I looked him up and I found him. And someone's like, you should message him. I was like, okay, I'll do it. So I messaged Damien. At first I sent Damien a friend request and he accepts it, right? And I messaged Damien and I'm like, yo, Damien, what's up, dude? It's me, Robert. Do you remember we like uh, went to school together when we were young? And uh, he removed me from his friends list the next day. <laughs> I think I reminded him of that story. Oh so, yeah. my God. That's the Damien oh stuff. Oh my god! Yeah. You are evil! I am. I, I was a bad kid. I, I, I was a bad kid. You you <gasps> do eventually grow out of, like, being a piece of shit. Right, 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 right. But I was a really oh bad kid. I just grew up with the wrong crowd. I had, I had bad friends, and they encouraged <laughs> me to be bad. What the fuck is that? Hold on a second, let me full screen this. What the fuck are you looking at? That's Vincent, dude. That's not a gator, that's Vincent. What oh, is that thing? God. He's putrid. What is okay, that? Vincent, Vincent is this very awkward character that's uh, part of VR chat that uh, there's this... Okay, so Crumpet has boosted Vincent's ego. Okay. Vincent is this like super Pepega person who Crumpet has completely boosted his ego. So you have this like, how do I explain it without being insensitive? Vincent is a, is a, if I was to come up with a word, he's a specimen. He's like ah, a creeper. Okay. He's a creeper. He's a creeper. Not a creeper. Creepers go up to you and go tss and blow up. He's more of a creature. creature like okay. you, you can't, you can't predict Vincent. So, what would you like to do with Vincent? Would you like to go on a date with Vincent? Would no, you like no, no, to? No, 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 no. I. So I have a friend who found Vincent, and she's been wanting to puzzle piece who it is for the longest time. And so I said, like, maybe I can figure it out for you. Vincent is Vincent, but the character that Vincent is in is a uh, Godzilla character. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll go yeah. on a date with Vincent. You'll go on a date with Vincent? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's set it up. We'll set up is a that, date with is you that and Vincent. bad? No, it's not bad at all. I actually think it would be pure content. Yeah? Yeah, he's very socially awkward. I taught him how to ERP. Really? Do people get off on ERP? Like, is it actually a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... See, watch. Let me... Okay, you're thinking about it from, like, a casual standpoint, right? Okay? Casual? Okay. So who have you ever found like a like an anime character sexy like uh, like or like any fictional character sexy? Yes. Okay, who? Iron Man, Tony Stark. Okay, so let's say you're playing VR chat, right? Uh huh. Well, you don't have a cock, so you can't do this. Okay, let's look at it from my perspective. Okay. Okay. Let's say, for example, that I find Tony Stark. Sexy. I don't know why I chose that example, but let, let's roll with it, okay? okay? Let's say, for example, that I find Tony Stark sexy, okay? Yeah. And I want to fucking ERP with Tony Stark. Okay. Um, 
I put on this virtual headset, and then, think about this, right? I tape a flashlight onto my desk, okay? And it's attached to there. Okay. And I could bang Tony Stark in VR chat, but I'm banging this flashlight that's taped to my table at the same time. And it's immersive. It's like I'm really doing it. Oh. And when you think about it from that perspective, you could literally do it with anyone. You've done this before, haven't you? Well, I, I've i ERP'd, she's not gonna like me telling this, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. I've ERP'd with Stephanie, but um, we did it IRL and in VR chat at the same time. We set up our VR in the same room. Maybe this is why no one interviews me. You could come to the next GatorCon. Wait, okay, okay, good question, wait, it's trending. GatorCon. Yeah. Is that gonna happen? Huh? Is that gonna happen? Yeah, when I move to Texas I'm, and and Corona arc is over, if it ever ends, I'm yeah. inviting a bunch of people over to my house. You're, you're invited. For reals? Yeah, yeah and, and everyone has my Polish sausage. That sounds awesome. Oh my yeah. God. I would love to eat your Polish sausage. Perfect. Great. I, everyone's going to be eating my Polish sausage at GatorCon. It's going to be great. You enjoy feeding people your Polish sausage, don't you? I really do. I've yeah. fed it to a lot of people. Everyone. Dyrus gave it a 10 out of 10. Dyrus said it was the best sausage he's ever had. Really? Yeah, it's true. I believe it. Yeah. Now I'm getting hungry. I gave Dyrus my sausage. Did he take it? He ate it in two bites. It took oh him two bites. God. He's got a big mouth. He does have a big mouth. Did you enjoy that? I did. It made me very satisfied when he ate it. That was a, that's a huge compliment. Two bites? Yeah. That's like taking it, it whole. That's like full on taking it whole. Have you ever seen those fucking bathrooms at the uh, concerts? Like, there's always like a fucking beer in the toilet, piss all over the floor. Like, every step you take, like, almost takes your shoe off. Like, you're like, oh, fuck this, dude. I'm going to find it. Well, actually, you're a girl. You don't get those. That only happens in guy bathrooms at those. I'm, I'd imagine the girl bathrooms at concerts are actually probably a lot nicer. Yeah, I've never seen a disgusting bathroom like that. That of you. But then started. again, I used to work at Staples, and the girls' bathroom was fucking putrid, dude. We had a person make a shit shrine. Like, uh, there was a girl in the in the someone in the girls' bathroom at my Staples store took a fucking toilet paper and 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 hung it up in four corners and then brought it into the middle. And there was a nest in the middle with a turd in it. I swear to fucking Ew, God. Seriously? Mr. Murder Crumpet? I'm not Murder Crumpet, I'm Rob. Murder sorry. Crumpet's my friend. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have you two mixed up. You look similar. Um, we went over that earlier too, I, where know, I explained I that we know. don't look anything alike. I know, I know. I've got a memory of a goldfish, okay? Can That's what my chat says about me. They call me goldfish memory. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. You and I have so much in common. I mean, you have ADHD, that's why. I have ADHD. You both have big heads, too. Did you know I have a massive head? No, I thought so, too. When I looked at you, I was like, he's like... You know Hassan? Hey. You know how he's, like, really good looking and hot? Like me, right? So I thought you were, like, the opposite. Like, the antithesis of Hassan. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Mr... I'm so bad with names. What's my name? Uh, Project Miko. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Is that not? Oh, that Code bad? Miko. I, that was actually a mistake. I Seriously? actually fucked up. <laughs> you call me Murder Grip at 10 times, oh, okay? You don't get to be mad at someone for fucking up your name, all right? Oh, Project Miko? Project Miko is kind of cool. That is like P R O Pro. That's so many <laughs> syllables. <laughs> Sorry, I'm choking on nuts. <clears throat> okay, this uh, it happened. Oh god, I'm gonna die for you know. a second. Mr. Crumpet! Oh, fuck, hold on. Rob! Crumpet is my friend! Okay, watch this. I, I took two sips of it, okay, but it's okay, pretty much fine. full, alright? Okay. Here you go. <clears throat> this one's actually cold, so this one's gonna give me brain freeze, but oh, I'll show you. Careful, okay. okay.
<sighs> what the fuck? All Dude, right. if you were gay, like, you No, I have horrible sick. gag reflexes. I've already had this discussion with chat. Really? Literally everything makes me gag. I can't even go to a doctor. They can't even put the stick in my then mouth. How are you able up. to do that? Well, that just shotguns the water into your throat. That's amazing. I've never seen anyone be able to do that before. Uh, if I had better water bottles, I could go for like a world record. I'm what? very close. I'm actually only like, I think a half second away from the world record. Seriously? Yeah, but if, but you have to min max, like you have to, uh, you have to have like the perfect bottle. Yeah. And, and, uh, I haven't been able to get a good bottle. There's actually clips of me doing it in like two seconds or something, like doing the, uh, the bottle thing. That is impressive. You have a pet spider? Somebody's asking me about. No, when I worked at Staples, we had, we were so bored that we found a spider and, and we, we would catch flies and throw it into its web. And we got it like really big and fat. And we had this huge ass spider that was our pet at Staples. And then one day there was a this girl named Demonica who was uh, in the back room uh, sorting like the ink boxes. And she found the spider. And she was like, Rob, can you kill that spider? I'm like, I'm not killing that spider. That's our pet. Don't touch my spider. And she was like, I, I'm not going to be working back here with this spider back here. So she fucking goes into the manager's office and tells my manager that we have this giant spider that we're feeding. And uh, the manager pages me into his office. So I go back there and he's like, Rob, what's the deal with this fucking spider? And I'm like, we have a pet spider. We've been feeding it for weeks. I'm not going to get rid of it. Yeah. That's our pet. And, they, and he's like, Rob, kill the goddamn spider. I'm like, I'm not killing the spider. I will leave through this door and I will leave this job before I kill that spider. So he fucking gets up, starts running to the back, and he fucking stomps on my spider right in front of me. Fucking kills it. He killed my pet right in front of me. I was actually sad. I'm not a spider murderer. Why do you tell people that? Wait, you kill spiders now? No, dude. S Stephanie likes to fucking... Uh, here's what happened. Me and Stephanie were in the woods earlier this year, like during the summer. And she saw this big ass spider web and she's like, that's such a beautiful spider web. And I thought it would be funny to like throw a stick, but not into the spider web, like try to miss the spider web, but just make her a little bit nervous. Like make it look like I'm trying to hit the web, but I missed and I actually nailed the fucking spider like directly in the center. Like it was a perfect fucking stick throw. And I destroyed this big, beautiful web right in front of her. And uh, she's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, dude, I try to miss. I swear to God, I wasn't trying to hit that spider web. Oh I just wanted God. to make you scared. And she's like, you're a fucking asshole. Like, why would you do that? Do you know how long it took that spider to make that web? And I'm like, it's fine. Like, it's a fucking spider. I probably <gasps> saved some, like, poor bicyclist from fucking getting a face full of spider web. You true. know what I mean? True. Very true. Yeah. Bye, Mr. Rob. Goodbye. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Mr. Rob. Soda Pop and Friend, aka King Furry, aka Shitting. Rob. I'm just gonna hang up the call okay, now. Okay, bye bye, Mr. Rob Martyr Crumpet. Aww, you are so. Oh, fuck you guys. <laughs>